in this video we are going to discuss nature of fourier series coefficients this you can consider as gate shortcut so here they will ask like this what is the type of fourier series quotient what is the nature of fourier series quotient if your signal is real and even if your signal is real and odd like this they will ask so you need to find you, your uh, fourier series quotient nature um, uh, then what you will do generally so you will uh, you will use your equations to calculate fourier series and you need to observe whether that is imaginary or real or anything it will take more time the shortcut for nature of fourier series quotient is here so if signal is real and even if the signal that we want to represent in terms of fourier series representation is real and even definitely the coefficient of approximation the fourier series coefficient will be in real and even only so when a signal is real and even then its coefficient of approximation in fourier series is also real and even if that is real and odd when you saw odd here that will changes this real to imaginary so fourier series coefficient definitely if you calculated for that signal also it will be in imaginary and odd what is real and even you know that real and even means even function means cos t you can consider so this is a real function as you are not having any imaginary path i r j here so and this is also a even function so real and even function example cos t so real and odd function so for this sin t you can take example so here you are not having any i and j so you can treat that as real function and here odd means you know that sin t is odd function and here imaginary and even imaginary even means i cos t you can consider so this is even function but not real this is imaginary why because you are having i in front of cos t so this is this may be an example for imaginary and even like that imaginary odd means i sin t you can consider as an example of imaginary and odd function if your functions are like this the related fourier series coefficients would be like this this is very very important theory so you got many times in gate or any other technical exams so related to signals and systems they they will ask they will ask what is the nature of fourier series coefficient or fourier transform transform uh, this can uh, this theory we can apply for fourier transforms also so if signal is like this what may be the transform result if signal is like this what may be the fourier series coefficient nature of fourier series coefficient so whenever you saw odd that will changes imaginary to real or real to imaginary so if you see here if signal is real and even so fourier series coefficient also equivalent to real and even if this is real and odd if your signal is real and odd this odd will change this real to imaginary that means your fourier series coefficient will become imaginary and odd like that if your signal is imaginary and even so even won't change anything so you'll get as it is imaginary and even in fourier series coefficient also you'll get in as imaginary and even function and here imaginary and odd if the signal is imaginary and odd this odd nature will change this imaginary to real and you will get your fourier series coefficient for this type of signal as real and odd signal so now coming to an example they will ask like this if x of n is a real and even signal then fourier series coefficient will be so option a imaginary and odd option b imaginary and even option c real and even option d real and odd you need to see the second part if this is even no change will be there if this is odd it will be imaginary and odd so you will get this one but here you are having even here so no change will be there so you will get as it is real and even will be the fourier series coefficient nature so like this way we need to apply this theory to several problems related to fourier series as well as you can apply for fourier transform also